Hello, happy Sunday to you. This is Gina B. Living Foley, and I sure hope you're having a great week, great day. Uh, it is very cloudy and wintry here. We are definitely getting our winter um, weather here in Placerville, California. So I wish it was white, but it's not white yet. We, we will see if we get a white Christmas. We had one last year. It was awesome. Um, but anyway, I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. And for those of you who are new to this channel, I sure hope you like Dollar Tree hauls. I do them once a week. I am not tech savvy. <laughs> I do not do editing. I just literally film and go. Uh, I'm an older lady and I know how to work with my hands. I'm a massage therapist and I love doing Dollar Tree hauls. It gives me great joy. And I wanted to share them with other people, so I started doing YouTube uploads uh, several months ago. And I am now up to 122 subscribers. Thank you so very much for those who have jumped on and joined my channel. I don't intend on making any radical changes. I just love doing Dollar Tree hauls, especially according to the seasons. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you hear noise in the background, my family, we just went and got a tree. And they are putting up the tree literally right now as we speak. So if we hear a door open and shut, that is why. Um, and again, for those who have already subscribed, thank you. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. Like, subscribe, share my channel so I can continue to grow. And hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever I do a new upload. With that being said, we're going to get started. There's a lot of Christmas here. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the basics, the, the boring stuff, the basics. Um, but this wasn't boring to me. I thought this was a great product. This is, I'm going to put on these ugly glass. I know. I have my festive hat on and these ugly glasses that I'm going to put on my head. Wait, I think I might have better. I think I might have better. Here we go. I know, getting old is no bueno. But it can be bueno if you stay fit. It's just the eyeballs, right? Um, this is Dermacil Labs Pharmaceutical Researched Lightweight Hair Gel Dermatologist Developed for Sensitive Scalps. Well, I have alopecia, areata. That's as sensitive as you can get. And it's oil-free, hypoallergenic, dye-free, paraben-free, and creates a lightweight but strong hold that washes out easily. This is perfect for ultra-fine, hair, people missing hair, thinning hair, thinner shafts, all of the above. If you hear a door open, again, that's just the family putting the tree up. But anyway, this is a great product. Look at that by Dermacil. That's a name brand and you get six fluid ounces. And I mean, I use gel already. I use aloe vera. I use I make my own stuff because I just can't have any alcohol on my head for a long period of time. I mean, I can do it for a short period of time, but yeah. So awesome product. And another really awesome product. Uh, this is by Yardley. It's a moisturizing um, hand soap. So this is name brand. It's by Yardley and it looks like it helps eliminate germs and bacteria. So. It's antibacterial, um, but it's free from parabens, and I can't read the rest of it. It's too philatelate, something like that. But it's oatmeal and almond with almond essential oil in it. And I mean, like, I just add a few drops of orange essential oil to the almond, and it is, that's a tip. Here's your daily tip. For those of you who have just started watching my stuff, I'm a massage therapist and I give a lot of tips on wellness. This is a wellness tip. So to add further antimicrobial properties, I you can add a rosemary, but this is an almond scent. Orange is great. Lemon is a great antimicrobial. And that is a very complimentary, complimentary. <laughs> Um, essence to what's already in here with the almond oil okay so that will smell really good with orange any citrus 
Yeah, it's got a very strong almond vanilla. I would put orange in this for sure. I would do orange, pure essential oil, and you could do a, a little touch of clove too, and that will bring it up to a Christmas scent. And this is beautiful bottle. And again, paraben free and um, antimicrobial. So there you go. I love that. And you've got the little top. So let me just get this guy going. I don't know which way we turn it. I will save that for later, maybe. <laughs> Struggling, I'll figure it out. But these always work. I've never had trouble with these little uh, pumps. I've never had trouble. Um, another really cool product I found is a dry co-wash with a hint of dark color. So if you have darker colored hair, it's a quick touch up if you have to jump and go somewhere after work and your hair may be starting to get that greasy feeling. Yeah, this is by Softy. That is a name brand. And it is for textured hair, which I, I have. I definitely have textured hair, so there you go. Yeah, right? I can't use that all the time, but like if I'm gonna go belly dancing, yes, I still do that. Um, or if I'm going to freshen up somewhere to go after work, I can do that. And yeah, because I sweat a lot. I'm a massage therapist. Okay, I love this. Uh, and I hadn't seen the Fresh Apple. This is the Awesome brand. So that's, LA's totally awesome. This is great stuff. I would compare this to a large Dawn because it really cuts grease. I add this to my laundry. And of course, obviously I use it in the kitchen. Um, and you don't need much. I use just a little cap full into my laundry and it degreases everything. So if you're a massage therapist, mas I can't talk, massage therapist, or if you work in the spa industry and you work with oils, adding a little cap full of Dawn, or if you're on a budget, this totally awesome ultra deluxe liquid dish detergent in fresh apple scent is amazing. Again, I can add an essential oil to this and I would probably with the fresh apple, I would add cinnamon and that's gonna make this a great smell and still clean your dishes and has antimicrobial properties. Yes, there's a lot in here. 30 fluid ounces, yes indeed. My precious daughter is here. So if you hear little feet, that would be Nicole. <laughs> this is my favorite little laundry detergent and I'll tell you why, because it has, um, it is biodegradable and it is uh, fresh and clean, um, and it doesn't have a tremendous amount of smell. I can't do a whole lot of, it, it says spring fresh, but it really you don't, you don't smell a lot with this, and it dissolves really quickly. And I add this to a giant thing of baking soda, and that is my laundry detergent and it everything comes out beautiful and of course a little cap of this and if you need to boost you add a little cap of um, white vinegar yeah but this is great product you don't get a lot but I don't need a lot because I'm for fortifying it with uh, pure baking soda yeah so that is a great deal um, another boring item yes these bags worth their weight in gold during the holidays when you're giving out food, repackaging stuff after a party, or if you're making cookies for people and you want to make sure they stay fresh, you put those in the Ziploc and then put it in a tin and it just works out great. Yeah. And I can't speak of this enough. These are more at the grocery store and it's exactly the same thing. It is the uh, light tuna and by Bumblebee packed in water, and it's the lowest I have found in sodium and um, cholesterol. So yeah, packed in oil is delicious, but then you're getting oil and cholesterol. So I stick with these and my husband loves them. I don't eat them necessarily, but he does and I pick them up every time. Okay, quick, quick, quick. This is delicious. And I love doing the tuna fish for him and putting them on these crackers. I love for myself to do a little bit of a yogurt or a um, goat cheese 
with a little slice of tomato and basil. Yeah, this is Benton brand or Burton? Breton. Breton brand. These used to sell at Rayleigh's for a lot more. They probably still do if they still carry them. But I swear by these. They taste good. They're uh, made better than a regular cracker. They can hold a lot of food. So for the holidays, if you're doing a charcuterie board, this is smart. I, I buy two of them because you need more than one. You get, um, it doesn't say specifically how many. I must be missing it somewhere. But they've got sesame seeds on top. And I just buy two or three packs of these and you can have a whole party with those. Yeah, love those. Um, the find of the day, in my opinion, because I have never, ever in the history of me going to Dollar Tree ever found egg noodles. These are a major name brand. This is the Pompa brand, wide egg noodles, um, in a 12 ounce package. That's going to make a lot of dinner for somebody that's on a budget, $1.25. Pasta right now has gone up. It can be through the roof. It can be cheap, but you're just going to get regular semolina. This is a white egg noodle, and that can make a beautiful pasta, I'm telling you. It will hold sauce better than you can imagine. It does have a lot of carbohydrates, so if you are in need of that, you get 40 grams of carbohydrates, and it's got a lot of cholesterol, 65 milligrams of cholesterol, but only five grams of sodium. So if you're a keto person, this would be really good. There's no added sugars and there's two grams of fiber um, and only 2.5 milligrams of, or five grams of fat. So not horrible, zero trans fat. That's a really good product, okay? Really good product, yeah. Yeah, it's imported, it's Pompa brand, it's great. And then of course my boring little I know, my Cheerios, gotta have those. I pick those up all the time. All right, now to the really good stuff. Now we're getting into some really good stuff. So, these little glitter trees, look at these little glitter trees. Those are so beautiful. Um, these were on the side kiosk uh, as you go in, just kitty corner to the very front aisle. Um, when you start to turn the corner, I'm telling you, all down that where usually flowers are, they've put up some new ornaments. I hadn't seen these. These are a new item to me at the Dollar Tree. And if you have found any in another color, let me know in the comments below because I have not seen these in another color and I'm fine with this. They've got sparkles. And my theme is kind of woodland, white, black, and reds, maroons. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I absolutely love those. They're, they're beautiful. I saw some very similar to this at our local craft store, and they were $9 for two. I'm not kidding. That's why these caught my eye, because I had not seen them. So I got, I think I got a... I may have gotten um, three styles, but I only see the two here. Um, yeah. Actually, I think I only got two styles. So this is that same style, the white glitter. <clears throat> He's got a scarf on. He or she have a scarf on. And they have the sparkle. That's beautiful. Um, this is the Dollar Tree brand called Christmas House. Yeah, those are, those are to die for beautiful. If you wanted to accent these in anything you could, you could go around with some, you know, real Austrian crystals around the neck and give these away as gifts, put it on a wine bottle. Oh my God, that alone. So yeah, in my treat, but on a wine bottle, that would be so classy and beautiful. And that's the value of Dollar Tree. You take a very cheap item, something that maybe you would find elsewhere, like it's a look-alike, and you stick it on a wine bottle. It's, you know, you haven't spent a fortune, but the thought is there. And you can always do more with them. These would be great on a wine bottle too, but I 
These are going on the tree. Yes, I have elves in my scheme. Elves, fairies, look at that cute little elf. Yes. And as you know, if you go down, you'll see the last three or four videos have some Christmas stuff. You'll see other elves I've gotten. Adorable. Yeah, here's elf number two. He's just a tiny bit different. Yeah, so darn cute. And then this blew me away. Now I'm gonna probably glue a little bit more greenery on the one side, so some greenery missing, but look at that little precious, either church or it could be a house, specialty house, but look at that holiday house or church. It reminds me of a church. It's so cute. Yeah, you're getting the drift of my theme. I, um, I've got one more elf. There's one more elf. I know, they're just so cute. And then, um, look at that. So you, you're feeling my vibe? <laughs> feeling my vibe okay hold if you need to cheers to the my vibe cheers to my vibe cheers yeah that's not grape juice that's a touch of red wine this is when you get my age this is about all you get if you're lucky you get a half a glass because of the tummy it just get older some people they can't i can't so this is a treat happy holidays Cheers to Dollar Tree for pulling it out. Look at that cool snow ornament. That would look great on a big bottle of wine. I'm just saying. I've got wine on the brain today. Now here's another one exactly like I showed you, but you can see how there's more greenery there. So I just have to fill that in with some, I've got some greenery I can fill that in with. But oh my God, I'm in love, right? That's just so cool. Right now, I have in the oven my cranberries because we're going to string up some cranberries for the tree. And the hearts are going to go in between the cranberries. Yeah. So you get a four-pack, right? So I figure if I'm doing some popcorn and some cranberries and then a heart and then popcorn, cranberries, and then a heart, eight hearts, that's going to go a long way. And those, I think, even for Christmas, they're phenomenal. They go with my black, red, white, green theme. Um, one more snow. One more snow. There's one more. That ornament at Hobby Lobby would be a fortune. I'm just saying. It is. And then one more little character. I got a lot of these elves because I'm starting to really get into, not elves, gnomes. Elves, they're the same thing. They're in the same family. They've, they've got the same genetic makeup. <laughs> All right. These smell like heaven. Now, I know that some people can be nasal sensitive, but I'm going to use these. Okay. These awesome candles because my tree is not a real tree. We were going to go cut a tree and we just internally just felt, no, I, we want something we can pack away and not spend that money every single year and have to, you know what I mean, go through the recycling and it all the, I got a cat. I just realized that's not the smartest and to have a real tree, you need more space so we've got a small tree going, but these burning somewhere nearby um, make us feel like we're smelling a real tree. I'm telling you right now, you get a six pack and I've smelt some of these at all the different stores. There are a lot more. I think they're like $5.99 for a pack of six right now. Even Walmart's charging a little more for scented ones. $1.25 you get six and they burn for two hours. I know I've done the math and um, they smell so much like Christmas, a fur needle. I, they just do. And I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, aromatherapy atomizer nearby with real pine 
and that's just gonna make the whole house smell festive. So I got three packs of those, and of course these are luminescence. Yeah, there were only three left, I grabbed them, I took them. Yeah, I think those are a hot item right now. But that is my Dollar Tree haul for this Sunday, and I'm telling you, they are really killing it right now. So if you need holiday stuff, they haven't put New Year's out yet, and I would get down there if you're on a real firm budget, and a lot of people are. Um, I would absolutely get down to your local Dollar Tree. Go to several. Every Dollar Tree has a little bit more uh, to choose from. And there, I didn't have the one thing I was a little disappointed with this time is we didn't have a lot of those gifts that I see other Dollar Tree haul people um, really scoring beautiful gifts. We have all the beautiful Snugadoo socks. If you look in my videos before, there is a bonus video with how to make a Snugadoo rice pack. Go down and search that out. Um, I don't know how to link, so just go ahead and search that out. It's not far below. I don't have a lot of videos up yet, so um, go see that. They have tons of beautiful socks, but usually they have winter hats. They The scarves were all missing, so they must have had a, a really busy week, and all the Christmas parties are happening up here, and we're a small town, and there's only one Dollar Tree here. There's another one in Cameron Park, but in Placerville, you've got one. So, um, you know, they were really picked over in that arena. But for de decor, they kill it. They have tons. Um, so check your local Dollar Tree for uh, gifts, stocking stu stuffers, um, and, of course, your holiday decor. It's worth it. It's not on the down low. It's it's high-quality stuff for very for $1.25. You can't beat it. And those of you who get the $5 spot, you're so lucky. Yeah. I've been wanting that little fireplace that lights up that people are getting at the Dollar Tree in the $5 area or $6 bins. Um, yeah, I really want that. But, you know, we don't have that up here. So anyway, again, please like, subscribe, and share my channel, Gina B. Living Fully, where I focus on Dollar Tree hauls, seasonally especially. Um, but I just do them every Sunday. I upload a new and I don't plan on veering from that program at all. So it's consistent. Um, again, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new Dollar Tree haul. Take care and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.